Hello everyone, my name is Vladimir Enchev and in this video I'm going to show you how you can enable security with multi-tenancy for your Blazor application using Kratzen Blazor Studio. So I have an application connected to Northwind database and orders group page with ability to add, delete and update records scaffolded from Northwind. And now I want to enable multi-tenancy. Multi-tenancy is part from the security with .NET Core Identity. Choose this type of security and press Next. Now you have an option to enable multi-tenancy. This will create another table except users and roles the table will call tenants that will be used to hold the tenants that you will create for your application. Press finish. Now Redzen Blazor Studio will generate all the pages for .NET Core Identity Security plus tenants page with ability to add and uh, delete and update tenants okay let's wait a bit more okay the application is now ready and we can run now to create tenants press run okay now we are going to wait for .NET to build the project and to start the application on the first run, the migrations created by Redzen Blazor Studio will create the tenants table and all the security tables needed. And to access and manage tenants, you can use the tenants admin built-in account that is seeded during the first run. Press login. And now you can manage tenants the users menu press tenants and now you can add some tenants for example tenant one and you need to specify host. I will use just the current host for the purpose of this demo press save and you can add now another tenant tenant two and I'm going to use the same host. For real application, you can specify here different hosts. For example, you can use comma to separate them. Tenant one at zen.com and Tenant 2 at redzen.com. Okay, now let's now add some rows for each tenant to associate rows and user for tenant. Let's add some rows. I'm going to add admin and user rows. And I'm going to switch the tenant and I will add the same rows for the second tenant. Okay. Now you can do the same. Let's switch the first the tenant to tenant one. You can do the same with users. For example, add admin choose the role for the admin to be admin role and this uh, is going to be the admin for tenant one and I'm going to add the 
user associated with user row and again this will be for tenant one oops I didn't match the password okay now save and we can do the same for the second tenant at an bin user for the second tenant and add some regular user associated with user row for the second tenant okay. now you have a multi-tenant application with two tenants uh, with uh, users and roles associated with each tenant and you can add roles for every page depending on the security you want to achieve on how to deploy such multi-tenant application please refer to our documentation in security multi-tenancy article that's all for now. Thanks for watching.